Hello, afternoon everyone. Um, my name is Nadira Love. Um, I'm an apprenticeship program manager on behalf of Fitch Learning and I'm really excited to be speaking with you all today. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with who we are at Fitch, uh, we are the part of Fitch Group, the global leaders in financial information and services. Um, and we're also the, one of the top financial service apprenticeship providers in England. Uh, so that's a picture of our CEO. His name's Andreas. Uh, he looks really serious in that photo, but in actual fact, he's a really lovely guy um, and, and a true visionary. Um, and before I was preparing for our talk today, I reached out to Andreas for a quote because I wanted to find out why Fitch decided to start delivering apprenticeships. Um, for those of you who are familiar with apprenticeships, you'll know that becoming an apprenticeship provider is no easy process. There's a lot of paperwork. It's incredibly laborious. Um, it's reviewing your systems and proce processes um, and ensuring that they are um, adhering to ESFA and Ofsted guidelines. Um, and we are already, as I said before, the global leaders in financial um, services training. So we didn't need to become an apprenticeship provider. Um, so I asked Andreas for a quote and he said, I quote, being an apprenticeship provider is a responsibility we are honored to have as it aligns to our passion for supporting learners to achieve their ambitions and developing the future leaders of the financial services industry. Now, I think the word responsibility is key here. Um, and I think it's quite endearing. It's quite admirable um, that we decided to become training prov uh, apprenticeship providers. Um, and in, a, in the next couple of slides, I'm going to be giving you a bit more information about why we take our responsibility as an apprenticeship training provider so seriously. Now, I could spend the next 20 minutes talking through our accomplishments, the fact that we, are, we work with 80% of the financial service firms in the UK, or the fact that we have a whopping 58% distinction rate at EPA, um, which as of Monday is now 63%. Um, but I'd really like to talk through why at Fitch we're so passionate about apprenticeships. Here are just some of the apprenticeship standards we deliver. So uh, we've got level three apprenticeships for those who are new to the industry um, and who, who are trying to establish a career within, within financial services, um, right through to level seven, uh, which is equivalent to a master's degree. For maybe seasoned finance professionals who are trying to upskill themselves um, and get an additional qualifications on their CV as well. Um, here are just a few of the apprenticeship clients we work with. Um, can I get a raise of hands if anyone's familiar with any of those logos? Yeah? <laughs> okay, great. Um, now, some of you may be considering whether apprenticeships is, is, the right, is the right choice for you, whether you're ready to embark on this journey. Um, maybe you are just finished your, your degree and you're a graduate, or you might be in your last year of university, or you might have just completed your GCSEs and A-levels and you're considering your options at the moment. Um, so I've listed some of the key benefits um, and our approach at Fitch Learning and why apprenticeships is a good decision to make for your career. Um, firstly, our apprenticeships are industry recognized qualifications. Um, so these are not vanity programs. Our programs were developed um, in collaboration with some of the top financial service firms in the UK. And what they've done is outlined a number of knowledge, skills and behaviors that they believe finance professionals should be demonstrating in order to be highly effective within their role. Um, in addition to that, all of our programs encompass an additional professional qualification. Um, and these are with globally respected awarding bodies such as CFA, the CISI. Um, so essentially, you're getting two qualifications for the price and time of one. Um, but in actual fact, um, I think one of the biggest benefits about our apprenticeship programs are the fact that there are no, no costs for the apprentice. Um, so one of the government rules is that any apprentice is not entitled or obligated to pay any funds towards their professional development. This is solely the responsibility of training providers like Fitch and your employers via their levy. Um, I think another key benefit that people get really excited about um, is the fact that as an apprentice, you're entitled to an NUS card. So that will give you up to 20% off, off a discount of some of the largest retailers in the UK. Um, Pizza Hut, which is a personal fave of mine, um, and then you also, if you do live and, and work in London, you're also entitled to a discounted Oyster card. So that, again, will give you up to 30% off travel in London, particularly with the cost of living crisis at the moment and with the recent price hike. That's going to be really valuable for you. Um, so three reasons why Fitch Learning are, are passionate and enthusiastic about the apprenticeships we deliver. 
So firstly, if anyone here is as boring as me, you probably spend a lot of time watching debates, our MPs debating in Parliament about the fact that there's a national shortfall of, of skilled workers at the moment. Um, and employment rates from 16 to 24-year-olds are at an all-time at their all-time low. And that's, again, why we believe that we have a responsibility to develop the future leaders of the financial services industry. Um, we have a global faculty team and skills coaches with years of experience to ensure that we're able to develop skilled workers um, for all of the financial service employers we work with, which, again, has a direct impact on global economic growth. In addition to that, diversity, equity and inclusion is an integral part of our strategy at Fitch. Um, and we've made a commitment to ensure that every apprentice enrolled onto our program has an equal opportunity of achieving their apprenticeship. Um, and lastly, widening participation. I think that's probably a word that most of you have, have heard quite a bit today at, at the festival. Um, and it's something, again, we're really passionate about. And I've outlined a number of the barriers that are typically associated with widening participation um, and some of the support mechanisms and the resources that we have in place. Um, so firstly, I think meeting entry requirements. So for a lot of college admissions or university applications, there's typically a criteria that you need to have um, GCSEs, grades A to C or, or A levels, um, BBB. Um, and we have made a big investment in our functional skills resources. We've got a fantastic functional skills coach. So even if you haven't met the eligibility criteria, we can provide you with all of the support you need. So by the end of the program, not only will you achieve your apprenticeship, but you'll have functional skills for English and maths at a level two standard or higher. Uh, we we recognise that underrepresented groups is an issue within the industry. Um, there is a huge disparity uh, when it comes to gender and ethnic minorities. And again, that's something that we've prioritised. Uh, we have a number of diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives that we have launched. Um, one of those is a diversity and a, an apprenticeships roundtable series. And that's with all of our financial service employers, where we give them an opportunity to share best practice, um, discuss some of the common pitfalls, um, and really share their success stories on what they're doing to, um, to embed diversity practices within their policies and organizational culture. Um, and again, fundamentally, we believe apprenticeships are a really effective way to increase diversity within workforces, but also create a more inclusive culture. Um, we also understand that some learners may have uh, learning disabilities or difficulties, and we work really closely with the EPAOs and awarding bodies to make sure we can provide a flexible approach for any of apprentices that this may affect. So that might consist of, rather than you writing essays or reports for your portfolio, which um, is, an, is, is probably the most uh, extensive part of an apprenticeship, you are able to produce audio or video recordings. Um, we try to identify any learner with needs uh, during the initial stages of their program to ensure that any reasonable adjustments required can be applied for things like exams. Um, and lastly, I mean, if, you, if you're uh, from a background uh, with a low income or with, within your household, again, apprenticeships is a fantastic route for exactly that, um, as well as you not being entitled to fund any part of the program and not leaving with up to £50,000 worth of debt. Um, Fitch Learning also deliver a number of additional technical and behavior workshops on things like Excel skills, um, fundamentals of, of investment management, ESG investing, um, and these are all free as part of, as part of the program. Um, and early careers, so again, I think for, for most of you that I've been speaking to today, um, you're in the sort of the, fight, the, the early stages of your career, um, and we will be launching a new initiative in 2020-23. Uh, that's the Fitch Learning Academy, where we'll be supporting employers with the recruitment of early career candidates, um, and really giving you all of the skills that you need, again, to excel within your roles before you even enter, your build, enter the building. Now, I'm sure you're probably all sick of me babbling on. <laughs> Um, so what I'd really like to do is, is give you um, some lived-in experience from two of our apprentices from ICBC Standard Bank, um, so they can talk through their experience on the apprenticeship program. Um, so I'd like to introduce you to uh, Ruby, um, who's on our Level 3 Investment Operation Technician program um, and completing the CISI Investment Operation Certificate. Thank you. Thank you, Nadira. Um, so I'm Ruby. As Nadira said, I'm currently completing the IOC apprenticeship alongside my graduate scheme at ICBC Standard Bank. So 
at university, I studied economics with a year in industry, and I did that after doing A-levels. I did maths, economics, and biology. Um, so throughout my final year of university, I started searching for a graduate scheme. Um, I found this current scheme simply by just Googling banking graduate scheme, and I happened to find the website. But I also searched other job sites too, such as LinkedIn, um, Indeed, and Bright Network, for example. So this is my first role in the financial services industry, and I feel like I'm settling in really well to the role and to the company. The graduate scheme that I'm in is rotational, so I'm currently in my second rotation, and I found both of my teams to be really welcoming and supportive of my development goals and my apprenticeship. My two roles so far have been confirmations team and the supplier risk management team. So the day-to-day -day of these two roles have been quite different. The supplier risk management was a more project-based role where I was helping the bank implement, um, well, helping the bank get ready for new regulations that were to be implemented. And my confirmations role is a bit more structured in terms of the day-to-day, -day, as in the morning I have a lot of like, time-sensitive work that I do, and then in the afternoon I'll do a bit of project work. So when I was applying to roles, I knew that I wanted to do a professional qualification. So I searched for roles that offered this alongside, and that being this Fitch apprenticeship. My experience so far in studying for the IOC has been really great. I've constantly felt like I've been really supported through my skills coach, through Fitch, through my line manager, and the graduate coordinators of my grad scheme. I find that something I notice when doing this apprenticeship is that I need to manage my time really well. And I feel like this has been successful as something that I do is I set myself mini deadlines while I'm studying, for example. So I might say, by the end of this week, I want to have completed the online material for this chapter, for example, just to keep myself on track. So I find that you do need some self-motivation and discipline to study for the apprenticeship. But I feel like after you complete the necessary steps, it definitely pays off. The apprenticeship has supported my overall professional development as it's pushed me to complete what we call off-the-job hours, which are learning hours. So I've been able to attend conferences, read articles, listen to podcasts, and develop skills that I may not have necessarily taken the time to do had I not been completing this apprenticeship. If I was to compare this apprenticeship to my experience at university, I'd say that with this apprenticeship, I'm gaining industry experience and knowledge. Um, I'm building up skills while working and learning at the same time. And I feel that even after university, companies don't necessarily expect you to have more knowledge than had I just come straight from A-level than an apprenticeship, for example. And as well, I'd say that the way that I study for the exams has been really similar for the two as well. Finally, I find that the content in the exams of my apprenticeship have helped me with the background of why I'm doing certain things in my role, um, or understanding, say, the structure of the like, senior management within the bank. So therefore, I think that completing this apprenticeship has been really great as it's given me real-world applications of what I'm learning um, while I'm learning it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I graduated from the University of Leicester with a degree in politics and economics in June 2021. I'm currently in my first job in the financial services sector, and I've really been enjoying learning more about investment banking op operations in a really hands-on manner. I've always aspired to work within the financial services sector, so to have gotten a rotational uh, graduate scheme with such vast learning opportunities is perfect for me, because I have no idea what role I'd enjoy doing. I'm currently in my second rotation, and I feel like I've developed significantly professionally and personally over my time in the trade confirmations team and now in the client monitoring team. Alongside our jobs, we're also enrolled in the Fitch Learning IOC apprenticeship. This apprenticeship has really allowed me to gain a deeper understanding of the financial services sector and also like industry-specific products, regulatory and compliance uh, related to the sector. This allows me to perform my job roles in a more proficiently as I've developed greater knowledge of the industry and I'm able to apply this in a more practical setting. The Fitch Learning Apprenticeship has also developed my self-awareness and reflective learning skills. 
helping me make better informed decisions, brainstorm solutions to problems, and improve future performance and outcomes. The personal development plan we've submitted as part of the apprenticeship has links to our own specific career plans and aspirations. The mentoring um, provided by our skills coach is personalized and it's very specific. The support I've received from my skills coach has really helped me better understand how to get the most out of my opportunities and how to, get, uh, how to achieve my career aspirations. I've also found the overlap between the content I was learning in the apprenticeship uh, really encouraging um, as it was very uh, as it linked to well with my day-to-day -day role. Well, personally, I did complete a university degree. I do think an apprenticeship is a great comparative alternative to higher education. You're able to get a great general knowledge of the financial services sector and also cater your learning to something more in line with your interests. I believe this apprenticeship has really supported me and my overall professional conduct and helped me take ownership of my career. All right, well, thank you for joining our talk today. And we're on stand 43 if anyone wants to know a bit more about the financial service apprenticeships we offer. Um, and we really look forward to hopefully meeting you and speaking with you.